Prince George High School basketball was a journey this season. Young stars, high expectations, and all eyes on the city finals. Two teams, the DP Todd Trojans and the PGSS Polars, on a collision course. The Trojans big and strong, the Polars young underdogs. Each led by unmatchable talents, here is the story of the Prince George City Finals. Throughout the season, the DP Todd Trojans were wire-to-wire -wire favorites to be city champs. Well coached by Norm Garfield, hard-working and tough to guard, the Trojans were led by big man Hayden Molchak. As soon as the shot goes up, the one guy you have to look out for and know where he is is, is Hayden. Let's be honest, everybody knows that our, our post play is, uh, is fairly key for us. Hayden's got a great offensive game, hard to stop. With defense on it, it's hard to get in the paint. He's like tremendous finisher in the paint. You give him the ball anywhere on that block, it has a really good chance of going in. It's hard, but we try to double Hayden because he's like the biggest guy, you know, get him out of there and try to keep their shots outside. Built like a man, Molchak averaged close to 25 points and 15 boards per game. The teams tend to uh, try to pack it in on him a lot. And uh, with that, he needs to have just good movement and, and good, strong positioning down low. Big, strong, uh, aggressive, uh, and he's determined. He's really tough to guard. Finish in the post, and he's really strong. And he's a good defender, too, on big people, and we need that. Across town, the PGSS pullers raised eyebrows and expectations. Undersized, but undeterred. Head coach Naf Parmar had the pullers eyeing a city finals berth led by grade 10 scoring sensation Tyrell Lang. His work ethic is really the one thing that, that I think sets him apart from everybody that I've seen in this league. He's a talented player. He wants to play and he wants to win and that's his mentality. What can he do? He's the best player in our team. Probably the best player in this uh, city probably right now. Um, with him on our side, I think we have a great chance. They have Tyrell who's, uh, who's putting up some big numbers uh, per game this year and, and he's their key guy. Throughout the season, Lang dropped 50 points in a game, seven times. He can do everything, and they've got a few guys there that help, like to support him, so you gotta really watch out for everyone there. He likes to score, so, and I mean, at grade 10, I can't imagine what he can do at grade 12. He brings a lot of energy and focus and determination. He pushes the ball, can hit any shot. He definitely knows the game of basketball. He knows how to score, of course, when he drops 50 couple times this year. That's, you know he's going to be a hard, a hard player to, to defend. I like it that my teammates look to me to, to score. So um, yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy the role and I accept the challenge. DP Todd met the Duchess Park Condors in one city semi-final. Garfield used his team's depth as the Trojans ran all over the Condors. In the other city semi-final, the Polars took on the Kelly Road Runners. Lang dropped 50 points again, and the team continued to carve out a hard-working identity. The stage was set. Both head coaches must prepare their teams for their opposition's strengths and weaknesses. PGSS is, uh, you know, they, they have good sharp passes. They, they move the ball very well on the outside. They stretch you out and uh, they have a lot of good ball screens. DP Todd does a great job of moving the ball. You know, they have, even their, their bigs are stretch shooters. You know, their bigs can shoot the ball really well. They're a scrappy team. They, they, they rely on a lot of second chance opportunities and crashing the boards. You know, DP Todd's going to come ready to play. You know, they're a team where um, you know, they demand the best out of us and we demand the best out of them. The final week of practice is rigorous for both teams. Ultimately, these young men are the ones on the court, ball in their hand, crowd in their ears. 
we came out every day this year just trying to work hard and get better each and every day. And, um, where we are right now is just uh, a tribute to that. We're 12 deep and we have a good team. We've been practicing and working really hard so we, should, we deserve to be there right now. Winning would be great. <laughs> Winning City Chat City Finals would be pretty good but I think we can do. We have really good like depth through bench, through our starters. We've got good guards, we've got good post game. We feel like we just need to work harder than them if we're going to give ourselves a good shot. Not get tense if the game gets closer, if our offense isn't running and our shots aren't dropping. Hope we can come on the winning side. It'll be a good fight between for both teams. We try to have like a championship type mentality. They're obviously underdogs, they, they always fight till the end. Maybe people didn't believe we could get here, but we all believed it in our locker room. You try to think of it as a regular game, but it really isn't. It's something special. We're here. And what we talked about in the beginning of the season, from our very first practice, we all got together in the circle and we asked what our goals are for the season. I think every one of you, the first thing that you said was what? City Finals, right? So we got here, but we're not satisfied with just getting here. You know, becoming a unit, becoming a team, the camaraderie that we have now, you know, why can't we win this thing, right? Have fun, play hard, and leave the floor without any regrets. And if you do that, I can live with the result. Right? It's going to test your mental skills, but also your physical skills. Right? They're, they're going to try to beat you guys up down low. Right? But again, like I said, we're not satisfied with just getting here. Right? We want to add another red banner to that PGSS wall. City 5 is the biggest game of the season. So it's up to you guys now, how bad do you guys want it? Before the season even started, this was the game that everyone wanted to see. City champions are down! One, two, City, city champions! champions. The day of the finals arrives, and the focus is unmistakable. As the crowd shuffles in becomes evident, the journey to get to this point is beyond valuable for these two young teams. The warm-ups tense, the players full of nervous energy. The crowd is treated to a display of high school basketball so rare. Both teams culminating a season at the same time. The DP Todd Trojans would beat the PGSS Polars for the city title, but both would travel to provincial championships. The city finals, just a hint of what is to come for Prince George basketball.